Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, CityZilla. If you are new to the series, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. This is actually episode two, a part of our Starting a New City mini-series, where we're actually going to be choosing one of these city starts for our next main series or secondary series. We're still going to be doing Crater Lake, but I just wanted to get two cities going so that it kind of uh, allows me a little more room to be creative with the cities rather than kind of putting some pressure on. And so in this episode, we are going to be something a little unique. We I honestly might have bitten off a little more than I can chew here because we are going to be doing kind of a challenge-ish kind of city. I think it's going to be really fun, though. In my test builds, I ended up getting a little far, and it's definitely something that we can do. And so what we're going to do is we are going to branch off, build here, and then build there. And then any further islands beyond that will not be connected by road. And so these will only be accessible by like metro or ferry or train or some other means of transportation other than a road bridge. And I know that it's not like super realistic, um, but the idea is to just kind of see how far we can go and how big of a city that we can get. And it's also to kind of mimic maybe a separated like islands out in the middle of nowhere. Um, islands definitely wouldn't have like an external road like this. They would only have connections through like uh, air or sea or uh, something like that. They wouldn't even have trains. Um, and so we're not going to have an outside connection for train either. We're just going to be using train to uh, transport cargo. And so I'm super excited, but I think it's a really good idea. I wanted to jump into the mods that I'm using first. Um, I decided to go as vanilla as possible with this. And so I really only have like camera mods or mods that help the game run a little faster or 81 tiles, which we're actually going to be unlocking all the tiles, um, going from tile to tile in this kind of scenario makes it really difficult. And so I think unlocking all of them right off the bat is just going to make our lives so much better. Um, I kind of, in my tests, I decided not to do that. And then I was like, you know what? It's just doing the 81 tiles right off the top is just going to make life so much easier. And so playing in vanilla is going to be a little bit of a challenge for certain aspects. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. And so I am excited to dive in. Let's go ahead and jump right in. And so the first thing we're going to do, as everybody knows, you just got to place this one little road. And then what we are going to do, we are going to funnel this into one road. And I think we're going to use a bigger road, even though they are kind of expensive. I think it's going to be better for our purpose. So we're going to come up here. We're going to go like right there. And then we're going to curve this guy. And I want to create a small little town square. So we're going to go like right there. And the reason I want to do a town square is because it just makes it uh, really nice for the island to have like one little area that people can go to for maybe shopping or something like that. And, and it's something that I've used in the past too. So we're just going to go. We're probably not going to make it. I mean, I guess we could do a two by two. It's just for this island. I feel like that's really large, but it'd be really nice to have. Um, in my tests, I didn't do this. And then afterwards, I was like, you know what? I feel like this is just going to be so much better if we can get this going. Space already occupied. Why is that? What are you doing? It's so crazy. It's not allowing me to go off from. Oh, there you go. And then we're just going to um, probably go straight, actually, because we can just. Yeah, I think straight's not bad. So we'll go like right there. And so I was playing with an idea to do key walls around this. Because this is a new city, though, I really don't know if they would have the money to do the key walls. So I think as we expand the city, we may do key walls. But for right now, we're just going to um, be using the natural terrain. And so we're going to go like that. And then we're going to go like this. And then we are going to turn this guy around. And voila, we have our outside connection. And then I do need, we do need to make a connection for this side as well. And so I do have plans to basically demolish all this and turn it into an elevated piece because we really need to get um, some train cargo in here in order to get our first disconnected island. We really need to have train cargo. And so the idea is, is we're going to turn this into uh, our first industrial little island. And it's kind of funny as we expand out, we may... Um, we may end up like turning a bunch of them into industrial islands, but we'll kind of see as we as we move along. I'm actually really excited about this because there's a lot of different things that we can do in this build that I think are going to be kind of fun. Um, we will eventually end up having to expand this even further, but I think for right now that's good. And so we're going to come in here and do these guys before we start running out of money. And we will come up here and do this guy as well. Bada bing, we are good to go. And let's go ahead and place this guy too. I think we are going to place this guy like right there. And then let's go ahead and do our water network for our industrial. And then we need to start doing our residential grid pattern. And there we go. So that's pretty much set up. We need to hook this up. 
We do still need to get power over here, but I want to um, finish out this grid layer to layout first. So we are going to have this probably branch off from right there, and we'll have this guy. Yeah, I don't. I don't really don't feel like that's a great use of space. I think maybe we will come down here and then turn. Yeah, there you go. And then we will have this go like this, and then we'll have it turn up and just connect up with this road. I think for that nice little beach area, we'll do something fun there because I, I really don't want to just demolish all the beach. I would feel like even though it's a remote island, they would probably do something nice with the beaches, like turn them into parks or have like some nice shopping or something like that. And so the reason I did that is just because you would have, um, I feel like it would be practical to have a, a road that went all the way around the outside of the island. And then we'll come up here and do this. And there we go. And then we are just going to follow the grid pattern all the way across. Go like that. Bada bing. Super easy. Um, we're really not going for any sort of complicated grid at this point. Um, we will need to as the city expands. But I think for right now we're pretty good. And there we go. Super easy. And I hadn't paused it before we had anything zoned. And we still do need to get some power lines over here. And there we go. I feel like that might be enough. I think we'll do one across just to be safe. Yeah, there we go. Because then we will do our commercial off of this main road. Go like that, come down here, and then just follow it all the way down. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll have to figure out some um, other locations for commercial as well, because it's really not like a ton of commercial. But I do want to come in here. And so my idea is, is we're going to basically connect up a lot of these areas with Metro and with ferry access. Initially, I only wanted to do ferry, but uh, you definitely need some some other other forms of transportation because ferries tend to get really packed and then uh, they just can't do the same thing that Metro can. And so what I think we'll end up doing is probably put a Metro station right here or right there. And so we'll end up deleting this guy. Maybe we'll actually not zone that in for right now. And then we will um, zone in around the outside. So we still want to get some nice zonable space, but we don't want to have to demolish a ton of stuff. So come up here. I mean, that's not a bad start. Um, having these two areas like this would be really nice. Having this kind of split into this would be kind of a hassle, but because it's such a small area, I don't think it would be too big of a deal. And there we go. And I don't really like this connection either, but because we are going to end up demolishing a lot of this, I'm not super worried about it. And I want to keep the integrity of the grid layout for this area since this is going to be an, an industrial area. Um, before I was kind of playing around with an idea of doing a bridge connection right here, but it just, it doesn't work out as well. And so I decided not to do that. So now we are just waiting, waiting for our first simoleons or citizens. Let's go see. So coal and they can access this point, right? Yep. So they're good. Oh, Hey, we got our first little, uh, little cottages coming in or a little, Hey, look at that. So the milestones for this are extremely close. Um, yeah, look at that little hamlet 120. So we got taxes, garbage, healthcare, and it's kind of funny. We're going to pause just to look at it. So we're going to hit Worthy Village at 240, Tiny Town at 360, and then Boom Town at 650. So we're already hitting about four milestones by the time most people hit the first one. And so it is kind of a challenge, actually, but you do get the money from them, which is really nice. And so I think we'll end up putting this guy a little close. So we'll go like right there. And then let's go over here and I want to try to figure out a good spot for this. I don't want it to be in the square, but I would want it to be near the square since this is kind of like a centralized location. I think we're going to go right there. I think that's pretty good. And then as we um, expand out more, we'll probably do the other services on either side so that the metro can kind of cut through the middle here. Because um, for right now, what I'm thinking is the metro will end up coming up here to these two islands. And then um, we'll end up expanding this way as well. But I think for right now, the goal is to get over to this big island. Initially, I was thinking this island, but I think this one's going to work better because we're going to need to do like a cargo airport and um, and this island as well. And then there, there's really a lot of different directions we could go because this island is really big too. And then we still have the option to be able to dredge as well. Um, it does cost a ton of money though. And so I really don't think we're going to end up doing it for at least a little while, but it is... Um, definitely a strategy that we are going to use and so let's go ahead and look we got some houses coming in this is looking great look at these little logs what are these guys doing here hey there you go worthy village so we got another square which doesn't really matter we got districts which is fantastic emergency services which we really need and so let's go ahead and plop down our school first 
Actually, you know what? I think the services would be more important at this point. So we'll go ahead and place these on the side. We'll place them. Uh, we don't have enough money, sure. So let's um, raise up our taxes since I forgot to do that. And there we go. Looking pretty good. And so we got our firehouse. We got our medical clinic. We're still moving up. It's kind of funny. You end up hitting the milestones much faster than your city even grows. Um, it's kind of weird almost. It makes it more of a challenge. And so it's definitely something we're going to have to pay attention to because we're not even at 400 yet. And we're on our second milestone. Look at that. So third milestone, tiny town. And so we got park areas, parks, which is great. We need to plop down a park. And then uh, we got landscaping, which is super great. We can start dredging up some stuff. So let's see. Um, we should be able to place the police station now. So let's go ahead and place this guy right there. And then I want to place the school. I think it's 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. So we should be at 10,000 here soon, I'm hoping. We are getting our industry in, which is great. Road names, which we could do some names real quick. Let's go ahead and paint our district down. I think for our first couple islands, we'll just name them like the first island or second island. But if you guys want to come up with some fun, some fun names, uh, maybe like some Pacific Island or any other island names, something like that, we can come up with some sort of theme for this map. But I think we'll do first island. Hey, there you go, Boomtown. So now we got airports and transport, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and pause. Actually, no, we don't need to pause. So we need to do a cemetery and a school. So I want to find like a nice location for the cemetery. It actually looks like this spot right here might be great. Let's put it off the main road too. Yeah, I think this would be great. Look at that. We really don't have enough room to be able to decorate anything up, but I think this would be a really nice area. All right, and so now let's, um, we got the cemetery down. We do need to do our elementary school and our high school. I think the high school is going to be kind of tough though. So let's go ahead and place our elementary school right here. Uh, I want it to be in the neighborhood more. So we're going to go right here. We end up demolishing some houses, but I think it would be super important for us to get that more in a neighborhood rather than way out in the open. You normally see um, elementary schools kind of tucked away. You don't see them off of like main roads or anything like that, at least what I'm used to. I'm sure somewhere in the world it's probably common to have them in other areas, but... And then for this guy, what we can do is um, actually put him right here. So we have the elementary school right there. And it would be nice to be able to put at least a couple little sports things. Okay, so I think what we're going to do for the high school is put it back here. Because we have a little more space back here, we can um, put down at least a, like one or two of the sports parks. Yeah, we got the basketball court. So now at least it's a little, it's like not, it's not like they're just left with nothing. At least they have basketball, which would be great. It's not a ton of amenities, but it would uh, work out. And because the island's so small, we really don't need to worry about parking. Um, most people would probably be walking around, though it does look like there still is a lot of uh, road traffic. So now what we want to do is probably branch across now. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. And I would want this road to probably turn into another main road. So we'll come down here. Let's go ahead and uh, we would have to move that clinic. We'll go ahead and move that in just a second. So we will come up here. And we'll go like that just so we can get the bridge pieces in. I think that would be nice. And then let's go ahead and follow this one across. So we'll go like right there. Even though this road is not going to continue, we would still want it to be kind of like an arterial for this island. And so now let's figure out an area first where our metro is going to follow. So our metro would probably follow this road. So I think what we'll do is create a little bit of a square off of this guy. Maybe we could even, you know what, I think we're going to delete the middle section of this. We'll even go back there and then let's go ahead and create a square off of this. Hey, look at that busy town. So this really doesn't give us too much that we're going to be using right now, but it does give us the money, which is great. I think we get like, that was another 20,000 or 40,000 maybe. Um, and so for this square over here, we kind of face an issue. So our square lines up right here. And our metro is probably going to go right here. And so I want to be able to put it in an area. I would like the metro to be right here. But we could also turn it and have it kind of change directions. So maybe if we have the square going this way. Because I had kind of drawn it out a little bit. You can see with that guy. I just I don't really want to go too far out. I mean I guess we could go like that. Let's go ahead and draw that in. And then we will see how it looks. I mean it's not terrible. Because what we can do is have this kind of follow around. And then loop around and go in. Or we could even have the metro station right here, which wouldn't be terrible. 
Um, but we'll kind of see it. We're still a ways away from being able to do any Metro right now, but it's still something we want to try to think of. So we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and do the layout around. I'm just going to follow the coastline again. And there we go. I don't really particularly like how this is kind of separated right there, but I think it's going to work out for our purpose. So then we're just going to go like this and I'm just going to curve in our connections so that we can get a little more symmetry out of this because this island is a little bit bigger. It would be kind of tougher to have them just go straight. Yeah, there we go. It looks pretty good. It's super simple grid pattern and it'll afford us a little bit of space to be able to do some more, um, more roads in here. And there we go. I ended up putting this one a little bit closer because it just uh, maximizes, just utilizes the space a little better. And so I think um, that looks pretty good. I want to definitely upgrade this road though. So I think we're going to move this guy. I'm going to go ahead and put him over there next to the other services. And then what we will do is upgrade this road. Yeah, there we go. I decided to um, upgrade these to the two lanes as it would just provide some good access to this back road. I initially was going to do the four lanes all the way around, but I felt like it just looked really weird. And so I decided not to, um, but I think that's good for right now. It does look like our demand is definitely inching up for more residential. And so I want to start zoning this out and we definitely need to figure out some good areas for services and also a school. So we have high school and an elementary school with all of our basic services and a cemetery over here. We don't have a library over there, but I'm not going to focus on libraries at the moment. We do have one park but we're going to need pretty much all those same services over here. So I think what we'll do is go ahead and put, let's figure out a good location for these. So we would want them to be on this main road again. I think we're going to put the, the Metro going through this section right here. So I think if we do, if we do these guys like right here, let's go ahead and put that guy right there. We're going to do the same thing on this side and then let's put the police over here and then it looks like we actually put that guy right in the way of, uh, yeah, we're going to switch sides for that. So we're going to come up over here and go like right there. And then we're going to need a cemetery over here as well. And so I think for the cemetery, I want to choose a nice, good location for this. We could even go like right here because that would be a nice cemetery. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, you know what? That's actually just a really nice cemetery, especially with the trees all the way around it. That would be a really awesome place. And so for schools, what I want to do is we'll probably end up putting both the schools next to each other because then we can do a nice park. So let's do, we'll go like right here and then let's put the park in the middle. So I want to do one of the bigger guys. It is kind of crammed in there, but I think it would look really good. Let's see if we can slide in the sport. So let's do a small little dirt road. And then I think we can kind of fit this guy in there. Eh, we can, yeah. We'll wait till we have more money though. And so let's go ahead and um, put down some water pipes real quick. All right, and so I got water and power hooked up over here and I've started to do a little bit of the zoning. I think what we're gonna do is we have commercial going across this main road and I had decided to do commercial across here as well. Because our little square is right here, I want to do commercial on this guy as well. So I feel like having them around this little square would be really nice. I think we'll actually get rid of that. But then we'll come up here and do some more. Um, and then I think we'll end up doing our first little patch of high density right there. Because we end up getting high density in just a second. It's another huge bonus of hitting those milestones as quickly. Um, but then we're just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this with low density. So we'll go like this. We'll fill this guy in leave that empty for now and then I think we will end up filling this outside edge with low density as well because this would be really primo land oh it does look like we need another power plant we don't have a ton of money so let's see I think we can put in the lowest one let's see 19,000 I think we'll we'll end up getting 19,000 here in just a second so once this expands out a little more we should be able to fit that in there this is already looking pretty good and we're almost to where we can start um, focusing on other things we do need to pay off our loans though. And so once these are paid off, we really need to make sure that we can, um, cause it's gonna cost us like about a hundred thousand or so to put down that train cargo network. So we hit big town, 1800. We got Metro now, campus areas, which is great. Um, some more policies, IT cluster, stuff like that. A lot of stuff we're really not gonna use just yet, but better yet, it gave us a bunch of money. So we can now come in here and do another power plant. We could do the oil one, but 
it ends up costing a little more per week. Like if you do three of these coal power plants, it's about 1500 and you get 120 megawatts. So you get 120 megawatts for 6,000 a week here, which ends up just costing a lot more in the long run. And so I think having that coal guy is going to really help us out. Let's go ahead and check out our water though, too. So it does look like our water demand is also getting up there. I think we're going to go ahead and place a water tower on one of these little islands. We'll go like that. And then we can place another one of these guys down. Yeah, there we go. And let's go ahead and look at our new island, see how it's doing. Oh, and we did unlock the high density. I didn't think it was on that one, um, but I knew that we were going to get it pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And then um, we do end up getting the policy for banning high rise. And we're going to plan on doing that. I really don't want to get any super tall high rises on these small islands. We would just want to get um, some more like, you know, mid-rise apartment complexes, stuff like that. And so for this one, I think what we're going to do is name it the second island. And then from here on out, we will use um, more unique island names. Or, I mean, if you guys come up with something fun, well, we might even change these island names. But I think this is a pretty good start. So we got a park, we got schooling, we got all of our services, we got a cemetery. Um, we could end up doing another park. Maybe if we do a small dog park over here, that could be good. Yeah, we'll do that guy like right there. Parks end up costing a lot and we really aren't making any good money yet. We really need to get a forestry service down. Maybe over here. Because I, I still think that this island's going to be a little too small for us to do something on. But we'll see. Because I know we're going to end up doing some uh, beachfront tourism stuff. I just don't think we're quite there yet. So our city is coming together pretty good. It does um, look like I completely forgot. But we're definitely going to need to do some more trash service. I think we might try to squeeze one over here if we could get, because it does have a little bit of pollution. Oh, yeah, that's actually a really wide. Let's go ahead and see if we can place, what is it, 1,600 or 4,000. Maybe we'll place two more of these guys, because I don't want them to fill up. Having this guy so close to the water would be terrible, but I just, I really don't want these guys to fill up that quickly. Let's go ahead and see if we can. Oh, look at that small city, man. I told you we were going to hit that quick. So we got um, now the cargo terminal, which is great. We got some more policies. Uh, we got the high rise band, which we need to use. We got a ton of other stuff that we're really not going to dive into just yet. Because we could also do monorails instead of metro. That could actually be fun, um, though the metro, I think, holds more people. Um, but then as we expand, we'll probably jump, jump into a lot of different transportation methods like the cable cars and just a lot of fun stuff like that. I really think that's going to be the appeal of this uh, this build is that we're just going to be testing out a bunch of different ways to kind of transport people without cars. So we're going to go like that. We're going to come in here and fill this guy in too. We're going to come around the back side because so we need some more industrial. Let's see how much empty zoning. So it does look like we still got some empty residential zoning. Even over here, we still got some empty zoning. We're getting a little further away from the industrial. So this is kind of becoming a hard drive for a lot of these people. But we do have offices as well, so we'll probably start doing just a small row of offices. Maybe we'll even do that right now. So we'll go ahead and place this guy right there. And it just allows a lot of these people to have like an alternative place to work rather than driving all the way down to that industrial island. I think that would be good. I think even in here probably too. So I think we'll end up doing those metro and then maybe offices around it. But I want to leave these empty for right now. I really don't want to, um, to fill them up. But maybe we can do like a row of offices right there. We don't want to overdo it, but having office space would be really nice, especially waterfront like this. Like this would be great. Look at this. So top banking, little bank. I mean, waterfront. I don't just like look at that view. That is just such a great view. And so let's um, dive into our cargo now and see what we can do, because I, I it's really no point in starting to spend money building this out if we're not going to connect it. So with our other two loans, we have about 100000 in that we can spend at this moment. So could also do the cargo terminal on the other side of this. Let's see, cause that's it. That would actually be smart. Cause then we wouldn't have to do this uh, big infrastructure project right now, which would, could, could actually be really nice. The only problem is we would need to do a, a road over there. So let's see if we can just widen this out. I didn't think about this until just now. So if we go like that, so that was already 20,000 just wasted. I actually think that might fit. So if we go in here and let's get this as close as possible. Oh, we need to be able to do two roads because we need a road back to. Okay, let's take out those other loans. So take these guys out. We just got to be careful. We don't want to spend all this money right now. 
So if we go like that, yeah, look at that. That is great. Okay. So if we go like that, what are we looking at? How unrealistic does that look? I mean, it actually, you know what, is probably going to be better um, than what I was thinking because demolishing all this and doing an elevated piece would have been really crazy for us. Um, I think demolishing this and turning it into maybe like getting rid of this connection is probably in the cards, but we'll wait until we start making a little more money. The main objective was for us to be able to um, get this going. So if we go, yeah, there we go. You know that um actually saved us so much money. I don't know why I didn't initially think of that. That is, that just saved us like a bajillion dollars. Really, I mean, we um, would have spent so much. And then um, we still do need to spend a lot of money to get the trains over there. But I think what we're gonna do is try to do some island hopping because having it go straight over this water, I think would probably not be the most realistic though. Having big bridges like that sometimes can be realistic. What I'm thinking is we will um, set up our cargo terminal right here. And so that cargo terminal was already like about 60,000. And so we definitely need to wait probably a little bit, but then we will do um, an industrial area right there. And so I'm actually just going to let the game run for us to get a little bit more money real quick. Okay. And so I let the game run for probably about like 20 minutes or so. And you can kind of see, we definitely have a little more money now. And this is fantastic because it's going to really cost us that much to be able to get this in here. And so what I want to do first, uh, we actually don't need to pause it, but I want to go into this small industry road and I want to do a small road right here, probably even go down to the edge. Yeah, there we go. And then let's see if we can fit this cargo guy in there now. Yeah, there we go. And this is really going to be the tricky part because I want this to kind of be realistic. I don't think going across this way and then branching across would be entirely realistic and it's going to really hurt some of our our ship corridors because then ships won't be able to come through here. And so maybe if we follow this guy down, I just, man, it being on this uh, coast is going to be terrible as well. This really isn't that far. So maybe this would be the most realistic approach to come across like this. Cause we're not going to do any cargo terminals on these islands. So let's go ahead and look at it. We're going to end up spending a ton of money to get this going. In my test, I had gone across the water, but then after looking at it, I was like, man, I just don't know how that's going to look. Because what we need to do as well is kind of raise it up just a smidge. So we'll probably go like right there, and then let's look at it. See if we go like that, and then we come across. Go like that, and then have it turn in. Let's look at that slope. So, you know what? That slope is actually gradual enough to where I think it would be realistic. I still don't know if this is big enough for a ship to go through. So we may still have to come back through here and, uh, and adjust this. But the good thing is, is we now have cargo access over here. I think the bridge is okay. And then now what I want to do is do a road layout. And so I think what we'll do is follow a road all the way around. And then we'll have a couple roads cutting across kind of as arterials or something. And so I think we will continue using the dirt road and then follow this guy all the way down. Yeah, there we go. I decided to leave some areas where we didn't go too close to the coast because this would allow us to do um, maybe some libraries or even like schooling areas or even some nice tourism areas or something like that. And so now what we're going to do is jump into a nice four lane road. And I think what we'll do is um, do some back and forth over here because we need a small industrial area. So maybe we'll come over here and we'll just connect this guy up. And I think we'll do like about two or three rows of this. So we'll go like that, come up here, and then we'll do probably one more row and then we'll call that done. But then I want to um, have our main road kind of branch off of this since this is going to be a high traffic area. So maybe we'll go like right there and we will come down here and then we'll have it swoop up and probably have it connect right there. I think that looks pretty good. And then we could even um, connect this guy up as well. Yeah, there we go. And so now we have a little bit of access for this area. Um, we could even have this guy branch across. I think that would be good. Cause then we have um, some arterials that cut through, help people to travel around. And then it kind of gives us a little bit of a blueprint for our grid layout. And so now what I want to do is come up here and we're going to just copy it down. I want to really get some nice symmetry in here. So we're going to go like this. We're going to come this way. Yeah, there we go. I think that's a pretty interesting design. And then what we'll do is just do a couple cross streets. We'll probably come down like right here and just uh, cut across. Yeah, there we go. 
and then we'll probably do the same thing on this side just because we want to provide some access here we don't want um, people having to take the outside roads all the way across i think that's pretty good and honestly we could even do one right here as well and we'll do one right here too actually you know what i think that's pretty good could do one right here though yeah there we go i think that's a pretty good little layout and then um we could even turn this little area into a park so i think what we'll do is we will cut this back and then turn that into a nice little park and then we'll turn the outsides into some nice little service areas and so i'm just going to do some water pipes real quick and voila and then we just need to connect up power and so i think for our ferries what we will do is have them come from this side so we'll have a ferry depot and a ferry stop right there we'll have it come up here stop right there and then we'll probably have it stop right here and right there so i think if we do a power line right here because we could do a power plant over here as well which could be good maybe that's the direction we take in the future but i think for right now that's probably good so then i think we will do um a nice little row of commercial right here or you know we'll do offices because offices are good buffers for uh, industrial but then i want to do some high density and i think we're going to have a nice layering effect if we do high density in the middle so if we go ahead and find some nice retail corridors first so let's come in here and we'll probably use the little main roads for retail so come down here go like this come back just because these are going to be the, the streets that can really handle this level of traffic. And so we, we would want it to be right there. We could follow this all the way down too, which I honestly think that's going to be good. So if we go like this, just going to copy this all the way down. Yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty good. And then what I'm thinking is we will do some high density just in these little, these squares just off the commercial because I'm, I really hope to get a layering effect with the low density and high density and so we'll end up doing low density around the outsides and we'll do high density in this little sector next to the commercial which i think it's going to end up looking really nice especially we're going to do a high rise band on this one as well I, I really don't want to get any super tall buildings and so we're going to go ahead and fill these in with low density now and there we go and then i think we will end up filling these in as low density as well and then I think we're going to use um, some of the outer regions for the services and everything. I think we will end up putting um, more residential around the outside, but I kind of want to try to come up with some cool ideas. And so now what we need to do is first off, unpause it so we can start getting some growth in here. And then let's go ahead and paint this as a district. And then I'm going to keep this one unnamed so that if the city is chosen, we can go ahead and uh, pick something cool for this area. Some, uh, some sort of fun name. And then um, we need to do our industrial in here as well. So we'll go like this, bada bing, look at that. Now we just need to do ferries and then services. So let's do our elementary, which man, we could do. It actually would be really nice to have our elementary and our high school within the park area. So I think what we'll do is we will grab our little road and then have it go up here. I'm gonna turn on snapping so I can get that angle. And then we are just gonna do a little sideways road and we're gonna put both our elementary and our regular school off of this road. And then I think this will turn into our first park. Yeah, there we go. And then let's go ahead and put this guy right there. And then let's do another big park off the side. We really haven't touched too much on uh, detailing in this one. Really just been focused on trying to get this self-sustaining thing going. I think this is going to look really good, though, if we turn that into a whole park. And so let's get make sure our power is hooked up. Yeah, there we go. And then let's make sure this is connected. Yeah, it is. And so now this has outside cargo access, which is great. We just don't have access for people to get over here. And it's kind of funny. We've already blown through so much of that money. That's why I let it sit for so long because I knew we were just going to blow through. And so let's go ahead and come in here. And I want to do our ferry depot. Maybe like right, right there is probably good. Let's go ahead and see if we can finagle that in, in a good way, though. Mm, I mean, it doesn't look the greatest, but I don't want to spend the money to move that. And so let's just go ahead and get this in here. And then I want to do a ferry stop right here. So we're going to do a ferry stop right there. And then we're going to come up and do a ferry stop right here. And then we're going to do a ferry stop over here. So it looks like it's on this side. It would be great if, you know what, let's actually switch sides. So we're going to come over here, do a ferry stop. And then we're going to come up here and do a ferry stop. I actually think we'll do a bigger one over here. And so now what I want to do is create some nice areas for our ferries. I don't think we're going to do anything special over here for this one, but for the other ones, I, I really want to do something cool. 
So we're going to go like that. And then um, it does look like we need to hook up water real quick. So we're going to go like that. Bada bing. And then let's look at our other ones and see. So this one is right on our little beachy area. And so maybe we could grab our our big road. Now it's going to look weird if we um, connect it up to that guy. So let's jump in here and we're just going to loop our little main road around. This really gives us a ton of opportunity to do some cool stuff in here. And so let's look at this guy now. We switch sides and this one we could actually do one little road. Uh, you know what? I think we will grab this guy again. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And the goal is to basically turn these into um, nice little commercial areas where you'd have like movie theaters or shopping centers or something like that. And then the reason I did the big one here is because I want to do a separate line that goes straight to our, um, to our industrial area so that if anybody wanted uh, any workers or anything, they could just kind of get over there easily. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. And I like the little bridge. That's interesting. Add some character for the area. Let's go ahead and hook this up with water. We're going to come back through and delete these power lines. But I think for right now, what we really need is for all them to just be hooked up. And we're probably going to end up leaving these areas empty for us to um, really do some fun stuff with. I just don't know if we're going to have enough time today. This is really taking a lot of time. So now let's do our ferry pathways. Okay, so we need to raise up our bridge, which is just a huge cost that is terrible for the city to have to, to do. But this is going to be super important. I was looking for the picker mod. And it is not there. And there we go. That should be big enough. And it's kind of funny. You do oftentimes see uh, bridges that tend to be steep like this, especially in areas where they are trying to let ships go through. And so I think that is kind of realistic. Uh, it doesn't look the greatest, but I think it's going to do what we needed to do. And so, and voila, it's not the straightest of lines, but I'm not even sure if these two need to be hooked up, but I normally don't use fairies a whole lot. And so, I definitely don't have a ton of experience in using fairies. But we're going to hook this guy up. Go like that. Come all the way back. And bada bing. And then I think we're going to do one other one, but it's just going to uh, come all the way through. Having those two fairy lines, though, may be an issue. I wonder if we need to do another fairy path. Because we could. You know, let's actually do that. Let's um, do another fairy path and we can have it go around. So I think that could actually be kind of smart. Yeah, there we go. Because then we can have our little guys just go around and we can actually have two fairies. So let's um, jump into fairies and we're actually going to delete both of those. Because I, I want to do a loop now because we can go both directions. I think that's going to be great. So if we come right here, we'll come down, go one, two, three. And then we'll have it come up here and complete. And then we will do the other side and have it come over here. Go one, two, three, complete. And so now we have a nice loop. I think that's going to be great. I'm glad we actually did that. Um, we do need to look at our fairy lines though and see how many fairies. So five. Five's actually not bad. So let's um, jump in here now. Both of them have five. So five's, five's not terrible. And now we're going to have um, a straight route coming from back there, which I think is just fantastic. All right. So now we have our first little fairy lines. And look at this. We already got 89 people at this one. This is just crazy. Look at all those people waiting. They just want to get over to the other island so bad. Oh yeah, look at that. And so this area, I really think we're going to do, I want to do something fun. So let's um, see if maybe we could even fit a small, unique building in here. Statue of shopping, maybe. I don't know why all my uh, unique buildings seem to have reset again. I think it has something to do with my mods, but it looks as though we may have lost all of our unique buildings. It happens. Um, it's happened to me quite a few times. It's terrible when it does happen, but we'll just have to deal with it. So I think we're going to go like this and then we will um, come back here. Oh, looks like it connects. So we don't need to do that um, power lines anymore. So I do want to come in here and do a nice path across. So I'm going to turn off this guy. Yeah, there we go. And then let's go ahead and put in some big palm trees in here. We haven't really messed with landscaping just yet. So I want to do just like a nice row of these guys. Yeah, you know what? I actually really like that. I think that looks pretty good. I like how this looks. And then we can um, just come in here and do some light, light commercial around the outside. Not too much. 
And so I think what we're going to do for this little area is dezone this and turn this into an organic and local produce section. Cause I really want to get like some of those little stalls and stuff. So we'll come in here and we'll go to Walnut Hill and we will jump in here and go to organic and local produce. And that should give us a nice little, uh, some nice little shops down here, which I think are going to be nice for the area. And so we could do something similar to this one. Maybe we'll do another, um, another unique building though. It doesn't look like we really have a lot. All right. We're just going to roll with it. Roll with the punches. It's not the end of the world. And so we will come in here. We could do the chirper balloon. We could do these guys though too. Tourism. I think this would be pretty nice to a little marina. Yeah. You know what? That's actually really cool right there. I think that looks great. And it's like right off the water, off the street too. I like these little piers too. You end up having like big amusement parks and stuff over there. So I think um, we could do the organic and local produce again. I actually think we're going to, because I really like the little shops and stalls that it gives you. So I think we're going to come around here and we're just going to dezone this little section and we're going to create a nice little, nice little area. I do want there to be a park in the middle though. Yeah, look at that. That looks awesome. I really like the trees too. We can... Do some more of those pink and purple trees, but I think um, we'll just keep it for this area. And so now let's um, zone this guy in. We'll go like this, create some nice little boutique style shops. And then I think we'll keep the outside empty for right now because I really want to continue doing like some more park stuff around the outside. But one of the nice area, well, nice things about this map is we can really leave some empty space to give it a little more character. And so I think we'll do the same thing here. We will go ahead and remove this and then do some of the organic and local produce again. Cause I really just like the stalls. It definitely reminds me of like, um, like Venice beach or something like that. And so let's go ahead and look at this guy. Oh, you know, we forgot. We have to do trash on this Island completely forgot. So we'll, um, come in and do that guy right there. Trash is a big deal. Cause we don't have any, um, outside access. And so we do need to do services as well. And before anything starts uh, starts going uh, abandoned, I want to pause the game and place those in. So I think we will do one guy right there. We'll come over here and do... Oh, we don't have enough money. So we got the medical clinic right there. We just need to do fire and then police. And so it does look like we're in a little bit of a crime wave, but we need to get 12000 I think we can actually take out our loan. So we'll take that guy. Let's come over here, place that guy right there, and then we just need the fire department. But at least now um, we'll have a little bit better access because we need to do a cemetery as well. I think we'll do the cemetery right there. I think that would just be a really nice area for it. But I really like how this is turning out. I think this is awesome. Um, and I like how we were able to keep this whole interchange like this with the, the cargo terminal. And it looks like it's working out. We've got trains traveling between them, which is fantastic. Doesn't look like we really have any uh, industrial demand back here. We have one uh, one office, Solutions Incorporated. I don't know if this island's going to be big enough for us to um, really sustain an industrial area, but we'll see. Because one of the things we can do is we could connect these two islands up by road, since they're not um, connected to the outside connection. So then, like this one could be the primary industrial area for this entire island, and then we wouldn't even really need to do another cargo connection. Though I think we still would. But um, something to keep in mind, too, because just because we're not going to have the islands connected by road right here doesn't mean we can't connect them up like this way. So now we have enough money to do our firehouse. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I'm going to go like right there. Perfect. And then let's um, jump over to our cemetery now. I think I want to create a nice little area for this. So we're going to turn on snapping. We're going to come out here and then let's do a nice little area. And we'll do um, two cemeteries and we'll go like that. And then let's, um, oh, it looks like, oh, they're connected up. Let's do, oh, they got water too. And then let's do um, some nice palm trees around it. I think this would be a nice area for some nice landscaping. Hey, look at that big city, 4,000. So we got a college now. We got crematoriums, which is great. Looks like we got a, a better water treatment facility, which is awesome. But then we got some uh, nice little hubs, transit hubs, stuff like that. Hey, you know what? I think that actually looks really nice. Some light landscaping, but it really helps to clean up the area a little bit. It does look like our power situation is getting pretty bad. Let's go ahead and... So we have geothermal. It's only 80 watts, but it's 65,000. That's pretty expensive. I think we're going to stick with the coal for one more time right now. 
That's super interesting. Why are we getting abandonment over here? Not enough workers. Wow. What is the... I think it's because we did all those office space. Yeah, because look, these offices are doing great. Same with these guys. So all the people are choosing to work in here rather than go over to the industrial area. So we got to be careful of that. Like, look, even our offices are kind of growing up over here faster. And so I think for um, this guy, so we we're going to do the metro coming up here and then it was going to cut in here. And I think um, we may even, since we're having those office issues in industrial, maybe we'll just demolish all these guys and move these back one. So yeah, I think we'll, um, I think we'll do that. We'll get, get rid of this. We'll cut this back. Yeah, we could come in there pretty easily. Kind of wish it would came down here though, because we could still uh, connect it up right there and have it turn and have it go in here and then turn over there. I think that could actually look good. And I think we have definitely looked at some possibilities for this map. I'm glad we got our first little cargo area set up. We got some nice little islands and we left some areas for us to expand and do some really nice little town squares. Um, it's kind of funny on the bigger island. I didn't really think about that. I kind of wish we had, but we would definitely lead into this uh, huge island over here. And so if you guys enjoy this and would like to see more of this city, go ahead and comment below. If you if you have enjoyed this build out, go ahead and hit that like button. And so if you're interested in the first city start, go ahead and click on the video on your screen. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help out the channel a whole ton. I super appreciate it. And thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next episode.